Now, everybody knows, of course, that the Mets fans tend generally to hate the Yankees, and Yankee fans tend to hate the Mets. I, I'm, I'm not like that. I, I like them both. But uh, what do the Yankees themselves uh, f think about the Mets? Well, they're a rival. They're a business rival. They're both... The you know, seeking to draw fans and uh, get TV ratings bigger than the other guys. Uh, the rivalry goes back to day one when the Mets hired Casey Stengel to be their manager after the Yankees had let him go. Um, the rivalry is strongest when both teams are good. L in the late 80s, the Mets still owned the town. They were very strong. The Yankees were not winning, yeah. and people used to say, oh, it's a National League town. Yeah. I don't think you'd find people saying that anymore. <laughs> no, no. But there's an evolution. Right, There's, right. Everything changes. Everything changes. Um, do the Yankees like playing the Subway Series? Uh, oh, they enjoy it because they get into the rivalry and they get into the fan enthusiasm. Uh, you know, when the Yankees travel around the country, though, is if you watch the games, you see that like 30, 40, 50 percent of the fans have Yankee gear on and root for the Yankees. Right, right. So they do have this following all over the place. But in terms of when they play the Mets, they feel the extra pressure. They know that yeah. we got to win these games. And the rivalry with the Red Sox, how did that begin? It really didn't kick in till the early 70s. Both really? teams are like that charter. Reason? Yeah, both teams are like charter teams in the American League. Uh, but uh, both teams have to be good for there to be a real rivalry. And it wasn't until the early 70s when Thurman Munson and Carlton Fisk were the two catchers that the rivalry as we know it today really, really caught on. Because before that, the Red Sox generally were not good after they sold Babe Ruth to the Yankees. Uh, and so you could walk up to Fenway Park or Yankee Stadium pretty much any game, pay your three and a half dollars and get a very nice seat the day of the game. <laughs>